Once upon a time, in a little town nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, lived a group of curious kids named Lily, Sam, and Ben. These three friends were known for their adventurous spirits and boundless imaginations. One sunny morning, as they gathered at their favorite spot a large oak tree, with branches that seemed to touch the skelly had a brilliant idea. Let's go on a treasure hunt, she exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. The idea thrilled Sam and Ben, and without wasting a moment, they began planning their grand adventure. Armed with makeshift maps and backpacks filled with snacks, the trio set off into the enchanting forest nearby. As they ventured deeper into the woods, the trees whispered secrets, and the leaves rustled in excitement. Their path was filled with the soft crunch of fallen leaves beneath their feet, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of wild flowers. Their first challenge awaited them to the Rainbow Bridge, a quaint wooden structure that spanned a bubbling stream. To cross, they had to solve riddles left behind by mischievous forest creatures. With teamwork and clever thinking, they cracked each riddle, and the bridge revealed a burst of colors, as if celebrating their success. On the other side, they stumbled upon a field of talking flowers. Each flower had a unique story to share, and the kids listened intently, marveling at the wonders of nature. The flowers gifted them petals of different hues as tokens of friendship, which the children carefully tucked into their pockets. Their journey led them to the enchanted cave, guarded by a wise old owl named Oliver. To gain entry, the friends had to answer a riddle about the phases of the moon. After a moment of contemplation, Sam confidently replied, and the cave's entrance magically opened, revealing a glittering treasure chest. But instead of gold and jewels, the chest contained books that seemed to hold endless stories. The children realized that the true treasure was the joy of discovery and the knowledge gained from their adventures. As the day wore on, they encountered a friendly dragon named Spark, who offered them rides on his back through the clouds. The sky became their playground, and they danced among the stars, feeling the magic of the universe unfold before their eyes. With hearts full of gratitude and pockets filled with flower petals, the trio returned home as the sun dipped below the horizon. Their treasure hunt had not only brought them closer as friends, but had also taught them that the greatest treasures in life are found in the simple joys of exploration, friendship, and the wonders of the world around them. And so, under the twinkling stars, they promise to cherish these treasures forever and to continue their adventures in the days to come. And as the moon smiled down upon the little town, the kids drifted off to sleep, dreaming of the next magical journey that awaited them in the land of endless possibilities. The moral of the story is that true treasure is not always gold or jewels. It can be found in the simple joys of exploration, friendship, and the wonders of the world around us. The value of knowledge, teamwork, and the beauty of nature are treasures that last a lifetime. The story encourages children to appreciate the magic in everyday experiences, the joy of learning, and the bonds of friendship.